Hello, people. I've procrastinated making this video for about a year and a half now. Subscribe to our podcast, pretty basic. Shout out to Noom for sponsoring this video. I'll get into that later. I just have to say, guys, seriously, thank you so much for all the good feedback on the recent content and videos that I've been uploading. It seriously means like a lot. So don't worry, I'm definitely gonna do more sorority roommate videos as well as just older vibe ones, kind of like the truth or drink video. So let me know in the comments any other videos like that that you want me to do, I'll add it to the freaking list. If this is your first fitness video that you're coming to me for, hi, I do have I think like three other solid ones and I would love if you guys watch them just because I actually go into so much freaking detail about how I actually started my fitness journey, how I lost weight and everything and I really go into more of the food and like what I did, but I've never actually like laid down all of the secrets that I do as far as what do I do on the treadmill? What do I do on the bike? How much do I lift weights? Like all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so you're probably like, yo, Alicia, what does Noom actually do? It teaches you how to have a healthy lifestyle and using their tools and programs, it actually helps you lose your weight for good, not just for two weeks and then you get it all back. Noom has kept me very motivated the past few months when it comes to working out because finding motivation has been a little harder lately, if anyone can relate. Was, obviously, you can use Noom to log in your meals or your exercises or workouts that you do. But my favorite part is that they actually use psychology and cognitive behavior therapy behind everything that they do. It actually feels like you have a coach or a mentor going through this with you, which is so freaking dope. This is perfect for someone who maybe isn't able to meet with a dietitian or nutritionist or anything like that. It actually teaches you a lot. For instance, there'll be quizzes that say, what's healthier for you, like this or that. And it actually will teach you along the way. And there's a million recipes that are like good, like broccoli cheddar soup kind of good. I'm sorry, like look at these meals. Banana Nutella roll up. Oh, oh my God. Can we make like this? Creep. So get excited because I'm about to pop off with all of the tips, all of the fitness, inspo, motivation, healthy snacks in this video. Um, so definitely check out Noom. Link in the description box. Use my link if you sign up. That'd be dope if you did. <laughs> Cool, oh, and subscribe for more of me. I like to think of working out as extra credit. In the grand scheme of things, I see it as something that makes me feel good. It keeps me mentally sane, I swear, especially during this quarantine. I feel like it kind of just sped up my process. Eating clean is what really did it. So I'm just gonna like, lay I know no one wants to hear that. I am not licensed. I am not a professional in any way, shape or form. And I truly thought losing weight would bring me happiness at one point. And then I quickly learned that it doesn't do that. So um, just being real. If you watch my vlogs, you see that I, I'm always showing me either on the bike or the treadmill in the morning. And I'm saying that I'm working out, but I really have never said what I do. I'm kind of sweating right now. Whew. For those of you who do not know, I actually started seeing a nutritionist last year. The homework for cardio he gave me was an hour, six days a week, with your heart rate at 140 beats per minute. Let me tell you, I was like, I'm sorry, you said six? Like, I thought you said five. Like, most people, what, what? I just, I kind of have that personality where if someone, especially someone in a coach format tells me to do something, I just do it. Like, I have no choice, I have to do it. I was paying for a trainer, I was paying for a nutritionist, I was like, I'm gonna do what they tell me because I'm paying for this, and I am not about to waste my money. I did it, every single morning I would wake up, I always had like jam and almond butter or those little split packets that I show you guys, I would always have one of those, and then I would work out, so I wouldn't work out fasted. I don't function that way, like I need some sugar, I need something. Okay, I may get this wrong, but basically keeping your heart rate at 140 is called steady state cardio, and that's actually, the most effective for weight loss because you're kind of tricking your body because it's hard enough to where you're like sweating, but it's not hard enough to where you're giving up. And I'm pretty sure something about that actually makes it target your fat more. Again, I don't even got my bachelor's degree, so listen if you want, but like. Okay, so some of you may be thinking, Alicia, what if I get bored? Like that's a long time to be doing it. Um, I like switching things up sometimes, so there's definitely days where I only do 30 minutes on the bike and I'll do 30 minutes on the treadmill. This is obviously what I do, um, but I mean, TK and Ash usually run outside a lot. Yeah, we've even done sprints a few times, like out in the street and stuff. I think we just try to be active. We try to go on walks at night too. Even just like putting in a podcast and going on a walk, like it doesn't have to be intense in any way, shape or form. Yeah, just did 30 minutes. And now uh, 
gonna do the rest on the treadmill. Also for the treadmill, if you're looking for something good to do, I saw Lauren Geraldo post this and I'm not kidding. Shout out to her girl, love you, miss you. Hope the Arizona house is amazing. She does 3, 12, 30, which is basically three speed on the treadmill, 12 incline, but for 30 minutes. And let me tell you, it is such a good workout, especially if you only have 30 minutes, because I'm gonna be so honest, I am very aware that an hour is very intimidating. Literally just going on a 10 minute walk every day is good and it's something and it's being active. Like that's that's great. So if you're on the treadmill and you have no idea what to do and you're not a runner, definitely do the 12 th or the 3 12 30 because it is a good work. Like you're gonna be sweating and you can't hold on to the treadmill. That's the real tea. Okay, now let's be real, real, real. What about the days you don't wanna like be on your meal plan? Like what do I do? Um, you gotta get creative. This is literally one of my favorite snacks of life that I recently discovered. If you guys have seen my older videos, the weird food combinations one, you're gonna love this snack combo. I'm obsessed with it. This is gonna sound literally insane, but just trust me on this. If you have apples and dates, Medjool fancy dates, those are the best ones. If you b eat them at the same time, I'm insane. It straight up tastes like a caramel apple. Like a caramel apple. This is so good. Like this actually tastes like dessert to me. Wait, what'd you just say? You're making healthy snacks? Yeah. Can you please make the date snacks? <laughs> so shout out to Miss Remy Ashton and shout out to Alexa Losi because they are the changed ones who changed our lives with these date things. I can make them, but I have everything. They literally taste like Snickers, like actual Snickers, but healthy. <laughs> okay, so if you want your life to be changed, Grab these ingredients, take your fancy medjool date, cut it in half, and make sure you take out the seed. That is a very crucial um, point to do. So what you're gonna do is do that to all of your dates, and then you are going to, you know, take some almond butter, or peanut butter if you want peanut butter, but I am a big almond butter fan, and actually fill both sides of the date completely full and once you have done that to all of your dates you're actually going to melt some chocolate i love doing dark chocolate and it's healthier for you and coat them like this and then you're just going to stick them in the freezer wait a few hours and then ash yeah oh they're perfect literally tastes like a snickers ice cream bar facts facts season oh what these are huge do you hear the crunch <laughs> now let's talk about weights because I will say my body didn't actually transform until I started lifting and I was always so scared that my thighs would be massive and huge because I gain muscle so quick. It's in my genes. I don't need th that much muscle. Like I'm just trying to like Look toned and good, you know? So last year I got a new trainer. His name's Brad at Brad Siskin. What up, dude? He has really taken the approach of a full body workout. And let me tell you, I feel and look the best I've ever looked. I think one of the biggest things is I really don't do just plain squats or regular sit-ups. I feel like this is a work smarter, not harder thing. It's like, if I'm gonna be working out for 20 minutes, like let's do things that work multiple things. So before, the world was ending. I used to see him three times a week on top of doing the cardio. Yes, I know a lot, but again, it became therapeutic to me because it gave me a schedule. It made me like, I don't know, just, it made me, it was the first time in my life I ever actually put myself first. We love self growth. <laughs> okay, so these are the bands that are normally like, you know, for the booty. And then go to a plank position and then you go one, two, three, four, nine, ten. One, two, three. I'm not kidding, that's literally like one of the best total body workouts. Like you feel it, like you feel in the abs, you feel in the booty, you feel it in the hammies, you feel it in the forearms, you feel it in the triceps, it's a good one. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I normally do not look like this when I work out. I look like this. I'm adding my morning workout into Noom. 30 minutes, add, hell yeah. So if you want a full, full body workout tutorial on my vlog channel, Comment below, let me know, and I'll do that. Let me know if you want it with weights or without weights. Like, should, like let me know in the comments. Now, let's be real. There's days I don't want to do it. There's days I'm just, I sleep in. And there's days where I do 20 minutes and I say, well, that's all we got today. Now, motivation, I'm just gonna be real. I tried to give you this definition. Welcome to Alicia's Schooling 101. School Alicia's in session. <laughs>
I'm not kidding. It felt like I was a professor like giving a lecture and I knew everyone was gonna unsubscribe to me and just click out and be very bored. I just hate when I follow any like fitness or health people on Instagram and they act like 24 seven, they eat clean and work out every single day. Freaking last night, I literally had like cake. It was good because this morning actually motivated me more because I woke up and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I actually didn't like how I felt when I woke up this morning. Not that you can't have cake because you love cake, but I'm, I'm kind of rambling, <laughs> but you get what I mean. If you think you're gonna be happy when you're X size or a certain number that the scale tells you, like please just get that out of your head right now because that's not true, it's not the case, and you actually usually end up more sad when you thought you would be a certain way when you reach these goals and then you're like not. You are beautiful, you are stunning no matter what shape, size, race, whatever. What's gotten me through those dark days where I just don't wanna do anything, I feel like giving up, I think was knowing the why. Like why do I want to do this? I wanna put myself first, I wanna be healthy, I wanna feel strong. I've actually learned to really love working out. It has, like I said, kept me sane, especially working from home, which a lot of us are doing right now. It's helped me so much. I love how it makes me feel. I used to hate working out, hated, I hated it. Honestly, don't work out to be hot, don't work out to be skinny, D like just work out because it makes you feel good. Even if you get on the treadmill for only 20 minutes or you go for a walk for 20 minutes, like most people in the world are too lazy to do that. So it just makes me feel so motivated and productive already the first thing in the morning. Ash Nicole XO, mm. what motivates you? You? <laughs> me? Oh, that's good, like a buddy. You can meet at a park or you can like meet somewhere and go for a walk. No. Oh. And perfect time to say if you actually don't have a buddy, a workout buddy or someone just around in your life to actually motivate you and keep you accountable, then that's exactly why you should download Noom. I love that they have coaches. Like they actually have someone designated for you to help you with your plan. They come in around after having it for about two weeks or so. They'll even ask you what kind of accountability you need. So if you like someone who's like super harsh and a coach and like on your back, they will get you someone like that. Or if you need someone a little more gentle to kind of hold your hand through the process, they'll pair you with someone like that also. I think that's literally like one of the biggest secrets to someone's fitness journey. You just have to know how you work, how your personality works to things, how you adapt to things. And um, I love how Noom actually incorporates like psychology behind their app and stuff. And that's why I think it actually works and it works for a long time. So that is pretty much what I do for cardio, motivation, some healthy snacks too for you guys and yeah i hope that you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and let me know again if you want me to do that uh workout video i promise i'll do it i've been saying i'll do it for a while but let me know okay peace and again huge thank you to noom for sponsoring this video don't forget to check them out link in the description box I'm